Hey, Sean here from SpeedCubeReview.com. Today we're going to look at the Moyu Hualong. I want to thank the Cubicle for allowing me to test this cube. Check out them through the link in the description and save 5% on your order with discount code SpeedCubeReview. Moyu noted in its initial Facebook post about the cube that Hualong adopts a curved surface into its inner structure, which makes it feel better than the Weilong when you solve fast. Hualong's corner cutting is about 60 degrees and its adverse corner cutting is about 30 degrees. Pop is not easy. Before we get into the review, let's compare the pieces. I have the Hualong on the bottom with the Weilong on the top left, which Moyu claims the cube was modeled after, the Along in the middle, and the Guanlong in the top right. I've included the Along since it is arguably the most popular Moyu cube at the moment, and I'll explain why I have included the Guanlong in a bit. You can see by the edge pieces that the Hualong does resemble the Weilong most. The wings actually seem a bit less curved and is missing the tracks that you find in the Weilong. On the corner pieces, the stock resembles the Weilong almost exactly, but has a more cutout structure with holes at the end of the corners. As far as the speed of the cube, this cube is fast, without a doubt faster than the Weilong, and might be the fastest cube Moryu has ever made. It is on par with the GAN 357 and Fangshi cubes. So if you're looking for a fast cube, this one could be for you, but for me it is a bit uncontrollable, especially on M slices. Corner cutting is good, but not anything to brag about. It can do a bit over 45 in my medium tensions. I would say that my Along can cut a bit more. This cube seems to fix some of the internal locking problems that the Weilong had, but seems to add some locking issues on the outside. The cube tends to flex a lot, and although it has the ability to corner cut well, it does still catch. Corner twisting seems to not be a problem and is next to impossible to pop this cube. I had to loosen the tensions quite a bit just to take an edge piece out. This is a very fast cube, but it feels nothing like a Weilong to me. It is very light and airy feeling and does not hold a cubic structure well. Honestly, it feels like a Guanlong with better corner cutting and the ability to flex like an Along V1. Just like practically every cube coming out these days, it is a great cube and could easily be someone's main. I find myself going to the Along, Weilong, and Guanlong more than this one. My times are within a second of each other on all four cubes. I personally like heavier and more stable feeling cubes, and the Hualong does not fit my style. If you are newer into cubing, I would not recommend this cube, but if you are solving sub 10 seconds and like a super fast and light cube, this might work for you. Once again, thank you to the Cubicle for allowing me to do this review, and for more information, please check out the review section of speedcubereview.com.